Hi friends, my name is James McConaughey, and I'd like to take you on a virtual tour of Harley Mudd College campus. I'm Ozzy. And I'm Matt. Which direction would you like to go first, east or west? Good choice, let's go! To get to class on time, a lot of Harvey Mudd students use bikes and longboards and unicycles, any alternative mode of transportation. So us pedestrians are left, you know, walking around them. I know it's here right now, but I'll just walk as if they were. I wasn't very ladylike. This is Thomas Garrett Hall, or more informally, T.G. It's about to be torn down. T.G. has a beautiful courtyard where some Harvey Mudd students like to brush up on their Shakespeare. To be or not to be? Lame question. Oops, you caught me doing physics. That's just something I like to do in the classrooms here at Tom and Garrett. This is Galileo Hall, named after a very famous professor here at Harvey Mudd College. This is a statue of a naked woman. She presides over one of the very rare water features we have here at Harvey Mudd College, the Koi Pond. Those gargoyles are normally spinning at her. You can see one of them is kind of drooling. And these are the Koi. They cook them on Sundays in the finals. That one's getting pretty bad. This is Harvey Sealy Mudd, who the college is named after. Some people say he was kind of smart, but everybody knows he was just a great juggler. This is McAllister, the largest of the lecture halls in Galileo Hall. Earthquake! Earthquake! Uh, as you can see here, is our state-of-the-art draining system to deal with all those holes in the roof that occur. California rains, man. Don't be around for those. Oh my gosh, there's a touch screen inside the wall! We can take a virtual tour of Harvey Mudd College inside a virtual tour of Harvey Mudd College! This is Harvey Mudd's machine shop, where you can find everything from drill presses to lathes to hardworking engineering students. Engineering and stuff. Harvey Mudd students do not actually work in their sleep. They just try. Very, very hard. Now we're in the Harvey Mudd Robotics Lab. This is where Harvey Mudd students bring about the Matrix. I've never actually been in this room before. Here's the engineering classroom. Probably one of the coolest classrooms on campus. They spent some money on some excellent lighting features, swivel chairs, and didn't have enough to afford all those shock boards in normal classrooms, so we just used sticky notes on the wall. These are some funky vine-covered pavilions probably shouldn't climb on, but hey, school's almost over. Here's a giant ruler inside of the glass case, of course. They keep it back there so that no one can actually use it. This is the quiet place where people go to be quiet and listen to the soft gurgling of the fountain. Oh, sorry. This is the Harvey Mudd Humanities Department. But to science it up a little bit, they gave the funky furniture. They've even got square couches made for square people. Ah, yes. Here it is, the beautiful state of California. Shh, we're in the library. In the old times, before the internet, people would use this for learning. Building on the knowledge inside of these books allows Hardy Med College to reach new heights. There you go. These are pieces of pottery made by HMC students. Good engineers can make objects, but great engineers can make ancient objects. Hi, ah, yes, the final piece. On with the tour. And here we are in the Olin Science Center. This is where you can find the majority of the Harvey Mudd Professor's offices. All the buildings here on academic end are connected by a series of underground tunnels, corridors, and mazes called the Libra Complex. Ah, the West End. Not to be confused with... The East End. Let's go! This is officially the Office of Admission. 
But it would make more sense to call it the Office of Rejection, because we reject more people than we accept. Here's Jay's place, or the entrance to the mud hole. Most people think they're open pretty awkward hours, you know, sometime like 7 to 1 in the morning or something like that. But for us mudders, those are pretty much working hours, and we're awake all the time. Oh, here we go. A Harvey Mudd College student in the natural environment. You can see. He keeps his, he keeps his textbooks and three-ring binders in front of him so that he can study more effectively. As you can see, he's wearing a clever t-shirt with a joke about science on it. This is a common feature identifying Harvey Mudd students. This is the Joseph B. Platt Campus Center, or more commonly, the Platt. Platt is basically a giant chillatorium. People come to, you know, study. Very comfortable couches, which can be moved around at convenience. These are the Platt whiteboards. The students can work in groups to work on very difficult problems, like math and science. These funky mirrors on the wall are connected by Velcro. So students rearrange them from time to time. And here's our giant free coffee machine, where the magic happens. I used to use it when they had cocoa, but now they don't. Also in Platt is my mailbox. I try to check it at least, you know, two or three times a day and make sure it doesn't get too dusty. These are photos of the entire freshman class. Some people have two photos, because they got accepted twice. Even the president of the college rides a longboard, and this is where she parks it. Park your longboard there, you'll get expelled, yo. This is our dining hall, the Hot Shenanahan. At Harvey Mudd, a lot of students tend to board to get their board. And here are some actual Harvey Mudd students, eating actual food, actually. Deliciousness beyond imagination. With options like these, who needs caviar and lobster? Wait, Ozzy, you changed clothes. Yes, mud can change a man. On with the tour. I know sometimes when I'm rushing off to get to class, I don't know if I'll have enough time, so I can just stop by and read the sundial here. It may take a couple minutes to read, but boy is it conveniently located. This here is one of the emergency folds on campus. You press it when you need help, like if your shoelace isn't tied, or you need help with homework. All the fruits and vegetables that we eat in the dining hall 